Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we work a problem from the Civil PE Water Resources exam. So let's dive in. A town has a population of 472,842 residents. Under normal conditions, the drinking water demand from the community is 39,403 gallons per minute GPM. However, design of the drinking water distribution system also requires additional capacity for a fire flow scenario. Determine the total system demand in gallons per minute, GPM. So to solve this problem, we're gonna tackle it in two steps. We're gonna to turn to the PE reference handbook and we're gonna look in the drinking water distribution section of the PE reference handbook. And in that section, we see there is an equation called the National Board of Fire Underwriters Equation. And that equation is equal to Q flow rate is equal to 1020 square root of P times parentheses 1 minus 0 0.01 square root of P close parentheses. And we need to be careful here because P in this case is population, but it's in thousands. Okay, so we need to be careful about that. And what we're going to do is we're going to look back up in the problem statement to solve this. So Q, the fire flow rate, is equal to 1,020 square root of P, the population in thousands. So in the problem statement, we're told 472,842 residents. So we simply divide that by 1,000 to get 472.842 times open bracket 1 minus 0 0.01 square root 472.842 close parentheses. We perform this calculation, we determine that the fire flow rate <clears throat> is equal to 17,356.841 the units on that is gallons per minute but that's only the fire flow rate we're asked in the problem statement to determine the total system demand so the total system demand we'll call that Q total is equal to the normal demand, so we'll call that Q normal, plus the fire flow emergency demand, we'll call that Q fire flow. So to determine the total demand, Q total is equal to Q the normal demand, and we're told in the problem statement that the drinking water demand from the community is 39,403 gallons per minute plus the fire flow demand we found in step one which was 17,356.841 gallons per minute we perform the calculation and we determine that the total system demand is equal to 56,759.8 gallons per minute. And if we look at our answer choices, we see that is answer choice C, and we've successfully solved this problem. So I hope that helped you, and if you're looking for more practice as you prepare for the Civil PE Water Resources exam, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com. We have review courses for all of the disciplines of the PE Civil exam, so water resources, transportation, geotech, construction, etc. We also have FE review courses as well as a floodplain management review courses. So great resources out there. We'd love to see you over at civilengineeringacademy.com and we'll see you soon.